Hello students, welcome back. Now we are going to talk about one more interesting project that can be done using Verilog and that is traffic light controller. So in this video, we are going to talk about the working of a four way traffic light controller, how to design this controller and implement in Verilog. So let us get started. So first of all, we focus on the problem statement. A traffic light controller is installed at an intersection of four different directions. There are roads which are intersecting at a junction. The directions for our easiness are assumed as east, west, north, south. It can be any other combination also based on the alignment of those four roads on the actual project location. Only one direction of the traffic will be allowed to move at a given time. That means either only the east or only the north or any one of these. Red, yellow, green, these are the three standard colors and we will use them to control the flow of traffic on all the four directions. So here let us talk about the controller design. Every light can be set to green for a particular amount of time. It can be decided based on the traffic density. Some of the directions can have more time, some of them can have less time. This can also be done. Then we need to set the same direction as yellow for a brief interval like 5 to 8 or 10 seconds. Normally it is 5 seconds. Then we repeat the process for the next direction and the next direction and the next one and then we will come back to the same traffic. Whenever one traffic light is green or yellow, the other three directions will have the red color. This is what we decide as our working algorithm. So now the pictorial view is clear. A person coming from any direction will have the three lights in front of them. Every light can have green, yellow or red signal and based on that they will stop or move. So how do we design? First of all, for each color we can assign some numbers. Red, green, yellow. These are three different colors. We can take two bit codes or we can take three bit codes also. This is all up to us. Each direction will also be coded into the numbers. Clock signal will be used to synchronize the lights and reset signal is always given in the system so that in case of any emergency we can reset and start the whole control process again. The coding will be done with the concept of finite state machine. So here we should also see that when we test the system what kind of test cases should be given. A traffic light controller is a freely running system. That means you should allow your simulation to run for few clock cycles without any input and check whether the transitions from one clock cycle to another clock cycle is happening smoothly or not. You should also check if your reset signal is working fine so that it can be used in the emergency situation. So now let us go to Vivado and design this system. The code is ready. We are basically having four outputs. North light, west light, south light, east light. And there are two inputs clock and reset. Clock and reset these are one bit and I have decided that north light, west light, south light and east light they will be three bit numbers so I have allocated them 2 to 0 3 bit register. Then I declare one more register which is state that means the number of states. So how many states are we going to have? We need four states definitely for each direction and that is north, west, east and south. This will display whether these 
four directions are having green light or not. Then we also need to have something for yellow. So north green, north yellow, west green, west yellow. So every direction will have two states. So total eight states and these are defined as parameters. Now I have a simple logic that I am going to keep my green light on for 16 clock cycles. For actual real life, you can decide whatever time you want to take. But here for the demo purpose, we are setting a value that means for 16 clock cycles, the green light will be on and for 4 clock cycles, yellow light will be on for every direction. We are keeping it same for every direction. So first of all, we are defining that if we reset, then we will come back to north. That means the traffic from north will be allowed and count will be zero. That means we are just starting the green light of north. Else, now our cases begin. First of all, if north is green. If our count is 15, we send our count back to zero and switch our green light to yellow light. So it will go to north yellow. Otherwise, keep counting plus and keep the state as north. So that means for 16 clock cycles until we reach 15, we will remain in the north green and others will remain red. Here, now, once we are in the north yellow, if the count is 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, that means 4 clock cycles, then we will go to west. Otherwise, keep counting up. So, once I arrive in north yellow, we will come into north yellow here. Once I come into north yellow, I will start counting. After 4 cycles, we will go to west. So, this is the process that we are going to repeat for every direction. Once we are in the west, so what we do? Once we are in the west, we again start counting and for 15 clock cycles we wait after 15 clock cycles we will go to west yellow in west yellow we will again count and we will count for four clock cycles and after that we will go to south once we are in the south we will again count for 15 cycles and then we will go to south yellow once we are in the south yellow then we will count for 4 clock cycles and then go to east. Once we are in the east, again we keep counting for 15 clock cycles and then go to east yellow and here is east yellow which will take us to north after 4 clock cycles. Now you can very easily see that if you want to change the duration of any of these lights, you can change the count value. If you want to keep north only for 8 clock cycle, you can set the counter value. So the design is completely up to us that how we design it. The next part is our traffic light signal values. So when I am in north state, what does that mean? That north signal is green and all other are red. So how do we define that? I have taken three codes. 001 is for green, 010 is for yellow and 100 is for red. That means north light which is my output will be 1, south, east and west these three will be 4 that means red. If we are in north yellow then north will be 0102 that means yellow and these three will be red. If we are in the south, then south will be one, others will be red. In south yellow, south light will be yellow, that means two, other three will be red. And this is same for west, west yellow, east and east yellow. So this is very easy code and that define that what will happen in all the eight possible states. Now, 
let us simulate and check the operation. The simulation environment is ready. So first of all we define our clock 0 to 100 nanosecond and I reset the constant 1 and run for one clock cycle. So all the values are reset and you can see in the reset state north is 1 that means north is green and other 3 are 4 that means red. After that I am going to change the reset value to 0 and now we run it. Now what I am going to do I am going to run my system for around hundreds of clock cycle. 10,000 nanosecond means 100 clock cycles. I run it and now we expand our simulation. So what we can see here that this is my north which is 1 and it will be 1 for 16 clock cycles. You can expand it and count the clock cycles. Now after that what is happening? North is shifting to 2 that means yellow. Other 3 remains 4 that means red. Once this is done then the west light is becoming 1 that means green. Now other 3 that means north, south and east are 4 that means red. For 16 clock cycles this is green then this is yellow. After that the south will be green then south will be yellow then east will be green then east will be yellow then north will be green. So this cycle will continue. So our traffic light controller is working fine and all the test cases are completely perfect. So students we hope that you have learned a lot from these case studies and projects. We have a module test coming up and after that you will have your major project. Keep learning. Thank you.